hello dearest welcome back to my channel this is my Feli. hoping everyone is doing well today i'm going to show you how to make one of the favorite snacks in ghana that you normally find in taxi ranks and even those who are hawking there is no way you will see peanut or groundnut without banana or banana without groundnut or peanut it is not possible in ghana it and this is one of my teenagehood business that i did and if you ask me to redo it again i will do it over and over again with a grand style so let's get started in a pot i'll add one and a half liter cup of water to that i'll add one tablespoon of salt Cover it and bring it to a boil. Whilst we are waiting for it to boil, next I'm going to add two cups of fresh ground nut or peanut inside a tray and I'll begin to sort them out by removing the broken ones and the bad ones. But I can see my own, all of them are good. The only thing that I have in is the broken ones. So I'm going to take out the broken ones out of it beautifully and then set aside. This is because if you add them together and then you fry, it's going to burn. So there is no need to keep them. You can do them separately and then use it at home for another purpose. So I will just sort everything out nicely. And once I am done, I'm going to pull everything together nicely and then move to the next step. So now I am done. So I'm going to pull everything together nicely. And then next, I'm going to check on my water and it is boiling nicely. So I'll pour it inside and then I'll cover it and bring it to a boil for about two minutes. This is one of my childhood or teenagehood business that opened a way for me in many ways. So do not undermined small beginning this business led me to traveling to south africa so after two minutes of boiling it i will turn off the heat and next i'll pour it inside the strainer and then strain out the water out of it nicely and make sure there is no longer water in it just like this just look at the way it look it is so whitish and nice so next i'm going to pour it inside a paper lining tray and then spread them nicely all over the tray and allow it to cool down and dry very nicely this is a business that you can do even if you think you have certificate and you don't have work instead of you to stay home do something with your hands so once it dry i will shake it nicely and next i'm going to pour some inside the baking tray so i'm going to show you two methods that i'm going to use to roast them first i'm using the baking tray method so i will turn my oven to 140 degrees Celsius, and also i'll be using the up and down heat and the next i'll transfer the granite inside the oven and roast for about 15 minutes in the oven whilst i go ahead and then transfer the rest into the fry pan on the fire and roast them on the fire so these are the two methods i am using and i'm showing you but normally in ghana when i was using for business we have this beautiful sand that we normally take in the house or even the seashore to roast it nicely and then it comes out perfect and it makes the color still remain very white and beautiful but here in south africa since i don't have that sand i'm just going to show you how we used to do it but if i come across that sand i will show you that method as well someday if i come across that kind of sand so for you to know that it is well done when you take one and you peel it off you can see that it is well down and brown inside so that means it is done so at this point i'm just going to turn off the heat and then take it out of the fire just like this and then transfer it inside the tray beautifully spread it and allow it to cool down completely 
And as you can see, the ones that was broken, it was bent after frying. So this is why we normally take them out of it because you're going to waste them. So once it cools down nicely, I'm going to put them together and then transfer them into a bowl nicely. Once I am done transferring into the bowl, I will then move ahead and check the one in the oven. So it's been 15 minutes later. So let's go ahead and check the one in the oven. I'll bring it out and then shake it nicely and check on it whether it is completely done or not. But when I check it was not completely done because I was frying the other one. So I put it in a low heat. So now I'm going to increase the heat to 160 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes and then I will allow it to roast nicely. So after 10 minutes, I will check on it and just look at that. It has roasted very beautifully. This is not a hard work. You just leave the oven to do it work. So I will just transfer it inside the tray and then spread it all over inside the tray to cool down completely until it is cool and beautiful and once it cools down i will transfer it into the bowl as well please if you're a teenager or even if you are a graduate you can still find something to do with your hands this kind of business open a lot of ways for me that landed me in south africa so now i'm going to show you how we tie it i will just scoop it with my hands inside the plastic you can use any spoon or anything that you can scoop but i prefer using my hand and normally we use our hands so i would tie it for about two or three times to make sure it is well tied just like this just look at that it's beautiful and then set aside and i'm going to repeat the same process for you to see for second time i'm going to scoop it with my hands and then put inside the plastic and then tie it for about three times for it to be very tight and then put it aside beautifully so just look at that it is so nice and perfect so i'll repeat the same process until i am done with it and once i am done with it that means our roasted groundnut or peanut is ready to pair with banana mm -mm. and this one you will find them anywhere in the taxi ranks in ghana there is no way you will see banana without peanuts or peanut without banana and here we are just look at it it's so nice and perfect thank you also so much for watching and i believe you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel turning on the bell so that you will not miss out in any upload that i make if we're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is my Feli. thank you for subscribing and always remember at my Feli, we believe in the old adage your health is your wealth so be mindful of what you eat Nyamre bwa yekeya biaku. Bye.